Today, we're going to take a look at Focus. This is a Mac app that will help block unproductive websites and applications. Hello everyone, it is Andrew for iDownloadBlog. Today, we are going to take a look at Focus. This is a premium Mac application that's supposed to help you improve your productivity. It lives in your menu bar and blocks different websites and applications from distracting you. Now there's a lot of different configurability so you can set this up exactly how you like it. So instead of just looking through their website, let's go ahead and take a look at Focus itself. Now as I mentioned, Focus will live right up in your menu bar. If you click on the icon, you can have it start or stop your Focus or set a timer for a certain amount of time. So if you want to work for 15 minutes, you can turn Focus on for 15 minutes and it'll count down. Now those are just the basics of Focus, but there's a lot more you can do. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the preferences or settings of Focus. First up in general, you can choose a hotkey to automatically launch Focus. It has one by default, but you can customize your own for your workflow. You can also opt in to the beta updates and test some new features as they become available. You can alter the menu bar items, so instead of opening the menu when you click on it, you could have it just immediately enable focus or disable focus. You could also have it set to do a certain amount of time. Now, any good focus application is going to allow you to customize your whitelist and your blacklist. Now, there are already a ton of different applications inside the blacklist, but you can customize them as well as the whitelist. So for me, as I'm working, I would really like to be able to go to idownloadblog.com because that's going to be where I'm doing work at. So that is something that I need while I'm working, so I would add that to my whitelist. You could also add any applications to your blacklist as well, so Twitter is probably not ideal when I'm trying to get work done. If you like to automate your schedule, you can put in your schedule here, like every weekday from nine to five, I don't wanna be able to get onto any social media like Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. Now, if you are an advanced user, then the scripting area is gonna be very interesting to you. Since it is scriptable, it can be extended to a bunch of really cool things. The two primary methods of scripting within Focus are bash scripting and URL handlers. That means it can be integrated with a bunch of different applications like Alfred, Pomodoro timers, time trackers, and more. Now for those of you who say, oh, I'll just stop it, go onto social media, and then start it again, and it doesn't really help. That's where they have the hardcore mode, which literally prevents it from stopping until the timer runs out. Now as you can see, as I try to go to Reddit or Facebook, it immediately takes over and gives me some inspirational quotes that I can also customize. If I have Twitter open and I turn on focus, you can see it immediately kills TweetBot. And if I try to open it again, it won't let me until my focus is turned off. Overall, focus is a very neat utility if you're looking for something that's going to help you focus. If you're interested, you can pick it up for $19.99 on their website, heyfocus.com. If you like this video, subscribe and let us know what you think of focus in the comments below. Otherwise, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.